everybody uh, back at it here at model car memories uh, took a couple weeks off just to do some things around the house uh, so I pulled this model out here I think this is from the one of the old AMT three-in-one kits uh, and then the trailer uh, was with the pickup truck that I did previously uh, I think I do have another complete trailer that's been unassembled so don't know if I want to put that together or not but uh, when I got that but uh, there's not much broken on this one car here you got the one wheel missing um, here's something rattling in there probably not gonna be able to take the body off of it because uh, of the way it's made uh, got one of the little bumper guards missing on the back I think I can find that and I think I can find another moon disc there and I think I got one missing on the trailer as well so let me see here. Get, my, get my brush here and like always I like to start out just brushing things off first get get a lot of the heavy dust off before getting any liquid on it here see that antenna feels a little iffy there is staying on definitely hear something right hey wait a minute here yeah that's what was rattling around inside the other part to it so don't have to want won't have to search for that so so I'm gonna brush this off clean it up a little bit see if I can find the spare parts that were missing and get them glued back on but uh, I'll be back to you after this all right as you can see I got it all cleaned up um, these little pointed cotton swabs really came in handy um, and also I use this little detailing gel stuff it just just kind of dab it on it picks up dust and dirt uh, did find something else rattling inside the car and I didn't notice it at first but it's a valve cover so I dug around in the parts bin, found a matching one. Uh, found another uh, wheel cover for the trailer. And then for the back of the car, I believe this is the original one for it because it's got a speck of blue paint there. So it took a while to find this too. I have several others like this, but they weren't the exact same style with the little lip there to, to put that on. So. Um, I think somebody mentioned in the comments on the Instagram page something about the distributor and, and then I look at the engine here and I'm like well I don't see a distributor here I don't even see a, a place for it so I'm not sure where that was supposed to go on this particular engine so I'll just uh, I, don't, I don't see where anything's missing so I'll just kind of leave it like that like I said my stepdad put this together back in the 60s so I'm just kind of restoring it back to the way he did it. So let me get these things glued up. All and right, I'll everybody, I've got the restoration work on this hot rod done. I uh, was able to find what I think are all the parts to it. Um, this front wheel here is a little, a little off a little bit, but I didn't want to break it apart and put it back together. So I just kind of left it the way it is. So yeah, I found the two, the extra bumper on the back it mounted up good uh, found the valve covers for it and then the trailer got it as well so that way I can hook the trailer up to the uh, the Chevy truck and then put it on the shelf I said one of the the wheel covers was missing on the trailer uh, like I said I've, I've got another trailer just like this uh, got the instructions in the kit. It hasn't been put together uh, And there's several different ways you can put it together. So uh, this is uh, He didn't paint it this off-white. This is the the molded color the only part of it that was painted It's really just the the underside and the, the suspension there uh, didn't completely paint the underside, but uh, That's the only part he painted of it there but there you have it thanks for watching uh and also i picked up a couple new subscribers uh this past week uh welcome thanks for joining uh also you can catch out uh, catch some of the uh up close pictures on 
the Instagram account for Model Car Memories as well. But uh, check that out as well. Thanks.